Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, the diagram below shows the derivative show that h derivative is that. Fine, we want to find the equation of this quadratic. So the equation of the quadratic is a times x plus 1, because that's the first factor, x minus 3. Now, it should cross the y-axis at 6, so that means h derivative of 0 which will equal a times 1 times minus 3. Um, that's supposed to equal 6, which means a equals minus 2. So therefore, h derivative will be minus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 3, which is minus 2 times x squared x minus 3x minus 2x minus 3 which is minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. Use h derivative to find the maximum positive value of the slope of the tangent to hx. So h derivative is the slope of the tangent. And we want to find the maximum positive value of the slope of the tangent. So we want the maximum h dash which means we want this point here. It looks like it's 1. So we want to maximize h dash. Now, the language here is a bit confusing. Use h dash to find the maximum positive value of slope of the tangent to hx. Now, when they say use h dash, are they permitting me to take a second derivative? Because I could complete the square. odd. I'm going to play it safe and go with completing the square. So that will be 8 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared. So the maximum h derivative can be is 8. And this happens when x is 1. And so that's the maximum slope of the tangent. Yeah, it's strange. The graph of hx passes through 0, 2. Find the equation of h. Ah, OK, well, so then. H is just the integration of minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6, uh, which would be minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 2x squared plus 6x plus c. But the c has to be minus 2 because when x is 0, we're supposed to get minus 2. Okay.